public private partnerships like to develop vex public private partnerships like to develop vex vex the respiratory virus that are really the ones that create these huge and outbreaks and so on frankly i'm not so concerned about ebola because you need close contact it's really bad to have it and so but it can be contained but uh, but there are there is quite a quite some controversial research that is uh, happening and is trying to, um, to, to study how viruses can, what, what, what does it make to make them more lethal or, um, you know, um, um, or change their mode of transmission, which means new receptors for new cells. But it's a, that's a, the key question. And the qu and part of your question was, why would uh, big pharma or pharma do it? I think that um, the, the ones who were active in the um, uh, Ebola outbreak, they did it because they thought it was the right thing to do. And they could afford it because they make profit from other things. Um, but it, we're, we're talking really about hundreds of millions that were uh, invested from their side and they will, uh, unlikely that they will get any return. Um, but you can't expect them to do that every time there's an epidemic. So that's why we need a, a, a mechanism uh, like that. Um, and also, the, we have agreement on uh, intellectual property, on um, access, uh, all that. I mean, it would be another talk, but, uh, but I, I think it could be a model for other things also, um, you know, for development of, uh, um, of products that benefit people, um, but where there's no market incentive. And we, we need that for the quite a few um, uh, public-private partnerships like to develop VEX public-private partnerships like to develop vex, vex, um, drugs against malaria. In Japan, there's the Global Health Innovative Technology Fund, which is concentrating on uh, neglected tropical diseases. So it is starting to be a, um, a system or systems that try to address that, but it's not enough yet. We need a so-called universal flu vaccine. What does that mean? That so instead of having requiring every single year a new vaccine that is a little bit different and protects us against the new strain, if we could have a vaccine that protects against any influenza strain, that is a huge need. And secondly, um, is what to do when there's a completely new virus that pops up, like HIV, coming out of the blue, or MERS and so on. It takes a long time to develop a vaccine. And so can we develop technological platforms, techniques that can speed up the development of vaccines. And, uh, and that's, that's a really hot topic where, yeah, uh, several academic groups, uh, particularly Oxford Imperial at our school and also at the uh, in companies are working on.